Hello everyone, this is part two in the WISE Unity 5 integration tutorial series and in this part I will be most focusing on WISE and how you can use just a single sound file to create musical structures by using MIDI clips. I will still be using the same Unity project, Rollable project from the previous tutorial, but however instead of triggering just a single sound with each ball hit event, I will develop some chord structures by using MIDI clips, but I will still use just a single sound file. So now to start that, if you remember, we have this vibraphone E4, and now we are going to create some music segments, which will use MIDI files. For that first, I'm going to create music playlist container and let's name it ball hit. I already created my MIDI files in my DAW so they're all set and I'm just going to drag and drop them to this uh, music playlist container which then will create music segments and there they are. I'll drag and drop Yes, and as you can see, they are all going to be imported as music segments into the playlist. Now we are supposed to choose the MIDI target and I will choose Vibraphone E4 as my MIDI target, which means I will direct all the MIDI data to the sound. And if you're using something with a tempo, you can use either the tempo of MIDI clip or the hierarchy, but in this case, uh, it doesn't really matter since it's not exactly used as music, but more like a sound effect in this case, I guess. So in our playlists, as you can see, it, it's at sequence continuous right now, and I want to change this to sequence step. And now I'm just going to drag and drop my MIDI clips. In a specific order. So if you leave the music playlist at the sequence continuous, once you trigger the ball hit event, it will keep playing. It will just go through the playlist. But if you choose sequence step, it will play the first item in the playlist and then stop. And then the next time you trigger the event again, the ball hit event, it will then play the next item. So that's why I just want that to play one by one instead of continuously. And right now we have a problem that we can't hear the chords, but instead just keep hearing the vibraphone E4. And that is because I haven't enabled the note tracking. You have to enable note tracking so it will uh, transpose that single note to all the notes that you want to trigger on your MIDI file. I will make the root note C5 instead of C4. And I will change the transposition. And yes, let's lower the sound. Yes. And right now it is triggering just the vibraphone E4, but with the note tracking enabled, you're hearing all the notes in the mini clips. Okay, so when it's continuous, it's just going to keep playing once you trigger it. And on step, it needs re-triggering. So now, yes, instead of that vibraphone sound object, I am going to replace that with the music playlist. And it's still playing in sequence.
So now let's regenerate our sound banks and see how it will work on the Unity project. Yes, drag and drop the ball hit and generating sound banks. And now it should be working automatically. So as you can see, I didn't need to do anything on the Unity front. It automatically saw all the changes I made on the WISE project and just applied that to the Unity project automatically. Now we can also change how the music playlist behaves. So instead of sequence step, I can choose random step. And in that case, all the items in the playlist will just play randomly. So let's generate the sound bank and try that. So as you can see, it is working correctly, uh, which means you can just update your WISE project however you want and then Unity will automatically see the changes you made. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. And thanks for watching.